Hello everyone, welcome back to Tector.com. In this video, we will start union operation, which is a set operation, and all the set operations can also be performed over relations because a relation is also a set, set of tuples. But before we apply the set operations on a relation or a set of relations, they have to satisfy certain criteria. So these criteria which they have to satisfy is called union compatibility. Two or more relations are union compatible if they satisfy following condition. The first condition is that the degree of relations should be same. Now question comes that what is degree of relation? Degree of a relation is the number of attributes present in that relation. Now the second criteria which a union compatible set or relation has to satisfy is that if let's say R1 and R2 are two relations which we are uh, we are observing that whether they are union compatible compatible or not so let's say r1 and r2 are two relations then the second condition is that ith row or ith attribute not row attribute of r1 So the condition says that ith attribute of R1 should have same domain as ith attribute of R2. What I mean by saying this as is let's say two students are there or two groups of or database or table of students are there. So let's say this is R1 and this is R2 and let's say this is student okay and this is players yes now if we have to perform some union operation on this and this is let's say student id and name and this is name okay then the first one is saying that the same number of degree right same number of attributes so same number of attributes are there two attributes so degrees two for both now it is saying that the same ith this ith attribute of r1 should have same domain as ith attribute of r2 so if id is let's say domain is 1 to 100 okay then this should also have domain 1 to 100 okay if the domain is different then we cannot perform this set operations over this relationship similarly the name domain for name should be equal to domain for this name okay and if there are multiple attributes more attributes this attribute should have should have same domain okay corresponding attributes so this is union compatibility now let's understand what is union operation Union operation is represented by simply this symbol U or union. Okay, and it simply means that if for a relation R1 and R2, let's say we will find R1 union R2. Okay, so it will be equal to or let's say take let's take an instance of R1 R2 and write it small r1 union r2 okay so this is database instance at a particular time now r1 union r2 will be records or will be tuple okay such that this tuple belongs to r1 as well as or not this or belongs to r2 
means we will select a tuple which is either in R1 or in R2 or in both. Okay, so that will be union. Let's try to take an example of it. Here we have two tables, account and loan, and we have to find out a customer and record of customers who has either account or loan or both. Then what we will do? We will perform union. Union between that is this account and then account union loan fine and then what will be the result result will contain all the rows records which are here and here okay or at both the places fine so either here or here or both the places so let's what will be the record i, I will just write it so it will be when we find out the union of this this will be our result let's check how how it goes so first one will be here we have one id one and name is a so we will have one and a here it has one and d so one and d will come now we have two and a here so two and a will come separately because we are treating each tuple each of the tuple as once one element of the set so this entire this is as one element of the set so if any of the id or name is different then we will treat it as different element so we have one a here one a is already there now we are getting here one two a okay so this we will treat as different element and we will keep it separately okay now if we concentrate here we have 3c and again here also we have 3c so we will keep it 1 3c because in a set elements cannot repeat so we will write only once id3 and name c and similarly we will have this both of the 4d and 4b fine so this is union operation over a relation so i hope this is clear thanks for watching